My name is Michael DeMond and I'm the Chief Marketing Consultant of We Merge Media. I make videos to help small business owners leverage technology to grow and manage their business online. In this video, I'll show you how to find your recorded Zoom meetings, and I'll also share some ideas with you of what you can do with the video and the audio files that Zoom generates when you record your meeting. So let's just get into it. Now there are two places that your recording could be, and I'm gonna show you both of them. So let's just get started by finding out where is Zoom saving your recordings. What you'll want to do is go to your Zoom application and make sure you have it launched. This may vary depending on the computer that you're on, but I'm on a Mac computer, and if I click Zoom and go to my preferences, I'll be able to access some additional settings that are built in here. Um, so what I want to do now is go down to recording and it says local recording, store my recordings at. So if you're not sure exactly where Zoom is saving your recordings, assuming you have your account set to save locally, this is the way to get to that. There's some additional settings here where you can choose a location to save the recording to after the meeting ends. Uh, you can also record video during screen sharing. So there's a number of different options that you can use here. You'll also see if you use Zoom's cloud recording, which I do, how many files and how much space you have currently in Zoom's cloud recording, which you can manage from here. Uh, so let's just continue on talking about local recordings because oftentimes people record and they have no idea where to find them. Um, so if you click on this folder here, it'll show me that mine are located in users, we merged media documents, Zoom. And if I click open, I can actually go to that folder on my computer and you'll see here that it opened up for me and I have all these different files. So sometimes you record your Zoom meeting and you wanna share the audio or you may wanna share the video. Uh, you have audio files in here that you can save and you can use for a podcast. Um, you also have a video version. Um, Zoom will also capture chat. I know in the cloud version, when you, when you store to cloud, you can actually see the chat messages there. So once you're here and you can find the, the file on your local computer, you pretty much have the native file to do whatever it is you need to do with it. You can rename it, you can upload it to YouTube, you can bring it into a movie editor like iMovie, and then just add your intro, your outro, you know, your outro and do whatever things you need to do. Um, but I wanted to just walk you through that process because in order for you to use these files, you must know how to get to them. So just to recap, what you'll do again is go to Zoom, Go to preferences. Once you're in preferences, click recording, and then you'll see store my recordings at, and you can just click open to go to your location. By default, Zoom's gonna name this based on the date and time and whatever title you give the meeting in Zoom. So you'll see that my titles vary based on what the meeting was about. All right, so that covers how to find your local recordings. Now let's talk about how to find your cloud recordings. Um, so as I mentioned here, you can go to the cloud um, from here. I can just go ahead and sign into my account. I'll make this larger for you. Once I'm in my account, it automatically took me to all my recordings that are on cloud. It'll also show me all my recordings that are local. Now you can't download your local files from here. I don't think, uh, let's see. Can you, can you, can you? Oh, no, that's just data. Um, so you can't download your local files. Wanted to make sure I was correct, but it will show you where the local files can be found on your computer. And this is that information that you sh I showed you before. But all your cloud recordings, this is a nice feature. I've used this feature for uh, my, my online workshops. All your cloud recordings are here. So let's say, for example, you have a cloud recording that you want to download. Um, if you go here, it'll let you again download both the audio and the video files. Um, if your cloud space is getting too big, because remember in my preferences, uh, I showed that I only had about 600. I was using about 600 megabytes or so. Uh, here we go. And I think you only get a, a gig of space. So I have uh, maybe 300 some uh, megabytes worth of space left. Um, so at any point, if I need to clean that out, I can just come in here and I can delete these. The other thing that I really, really liked about this and that I've been using for my online workshops is that I can click share 
And I can actually give people access to this with the password protected. So here's an example. I have people who attend my live workshops, um, but then they can't watch the live. They have to get the recording. Now, I don't want to make my recording available anywhere because people who attended the live workshop actually paid to get access to that. So I want to respect the fact that they uh, value that content to pay for it. And I only want to share this content with people who um, have paid for that access. So anytime after the live, if somebody wants to go to wemergemedia.com and they were to buy the workshop, I can actually just set this up in my email automation and give them access to be able to um, access my recordings through, their, through, through here, through the cloud. So what will happen is if I just make sure I have this password protection on, I can either create a password or, um, or turn the password protection off if I'm not worried about it. Uh, I want to make sure that I have this on publicly so that way anyone who has the link has access to it. And then I can decide if I want viewers to be able to download or just view which is a great because then people can't download your content and then distribute it without your knowledge. But so if I just go ahead and click copy share information, uh, what will happen is when you go to your email, I can compose a new email here. Compose. Come on. Moving a little slow here. There we go. And then I can just simply go and paste that information in here. So you'll see they have a link to the recording and there's a password here that the person has to enter. Um, I can change this to whatever I need it to be. I can get rid of this or keep it if I need to. It's all up to me. Um, but all that information is right there. So that's it. That's how you find your recordings. Uh, that's how you can manage your recordings in the cloud or local. And here's how you can give people access to your recordings if you want them to be able to access it through your Zoom. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope that information was helpful for you. And just do me a favor and go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can be notified when new videos like this come up. Again, if you're a small business owner and you're looking to leverage technology to grow and manage your business online, be sure to subscribe to WeMerge Media on YouTube. Again, my name is Michael Daman. I'm the Chief Marketing Consultant of WeMerge Media. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.